Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make multiple configurations of the same part um, using a design table. So for this exercise I've, I've already drawn this gear. If you want to look at my previous video on how to model the gear and get it set up for a design table, um, click the link and um, model this 20 tooth gear in the video and then move on to this and I'll show you how to use a design table um, to create multiple gear sizes. Um, so if you have done that, to get started, um, if, you, if I click up on the configuration manager here, this is where your multiple configurations of the same part will appear. So I'm just going to rename this default gear to by clicking on just click on the name to 20 teeth. And type right teeth. So this configuration of the gear has 20 teeth. And now if I go to insert tables and go to design table, leave it on auto create. You can create your own templates and stuff, but for this exercise, leaving it on auto create is fine and leave all the options ticked. So I'm going to tick the design table. So it's asking me what parameters I'd like in the design table. So in the last video, you'll have seen me um, naming dimensions, and this is why. So I know which parameters which. So if I so I want the gear's overall size, the base circle, mirror distance, interlude gap, and addendum. And also I need the sketch pattern D1 for how many teeth I've got as well. Sorry, circular pattern, not sketch pattern. Um, so if I press OK to that, it will create a design table with these parameters in and PCD, which I forgot to highlight there. So if I press OK to that, it will now generate a design table for the 20 teeth. So now it's put it in the SolidWorks window. I don't actually like editing the design table in this window, so I'm just going to click onto the part, let it reload. And now I'm going to go to um, the configuration manager again. So if I go to the configuration manager, um, it's generated this little folder here called tables. So you can have multiple design tables in the same part. But for this exercise, I'm just going to open the tables folder and go on to edit table in new window. So if I edit this table in this new window, it brings it up in Excel separately and I find it easier to edit. So let's just update. So it's just bringing it up on my other screen. So I'll just drag it across. So now these are the driving parameters I've got for this gear in the design table. So if I change, um, if I start a new line, that starts a new configuration. So I'm going to go for 20, 30, and 40 teeth. So these teeth now, and 40 teeth. So now I've... I've created within the same part, just by using a table, two other configurations of the same gear. So when I change these values, so if I, for example, D1 at circular pattern is the number of teeth in the gear. So, for, so I've got 20, 30, 40. So now in that configuration, that circular pattern will pattern 40 times. And it, whatever values you put in here, it changes the dims for you. So it saves, once you could get your head around design tables, it saves you a lot of modeling time. And it saves you um, a lot of messing around when you've got multiple sizes of the same part. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this in. Uh, pause the video and fill this in to save you watching me uh, just typing numbers in. But I've calculated these the, what the dims need to be. So, and I'll give you, I'll put, I'll, I'll give you a chance to pause the video uh, so you can fill it in as well. So now I've put uh, the values in for the 20 tooth gear at 30 and 40. So if you pause your video now and just fill that in, if you're following the tutorial, um, I'll just give you a chance to do that now. Now you've filled that in, if I click out of this Excel, it will update the configurations. So it's, oh, it's made a 30 tooth and 40 tooth gear so if I press ok so now I've got the 20 teeth 20 teeth, 30 teeth, 40 so if I just click 30 
it make it changes the parameters and makes it a 30 tooth gear click it again makes it a 40 tooth gear so now um just if i go into the sketches that created the gear that we've created in the first video if i edit this sketch the dim is now pink which means it uh, changing this property will update corresponding cell in the design table. So this is what basically what that's saying is this dimension is controlled by the design table. So if I wanted to change that 105, I go into the design table and change it. So if I just exit the sketch and go to my second cut for the addendum, same again. It's all ran by these couple of dimensions that are on. The design table so if i wanted to make another gear configuration all i'd have to do is go back into my design table so right click edit in new window just open it up on my other wind screen um, and then create a 50 tooth or even a 10 tooth gear if i type that in and then put the dimensions in required um to create that gear um, I can generate another gear. So I hope you found this video helpful on how to use uh, design tables and create multiple configurations. Um, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. Um, and if you want some more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and I'll carry on making even more. Uh, thanks for watching. In my next video, I'm going to plan to um, show you how to animate these gears. Um, so look out for that and thanks for watching.